I thought I'd never see the day, but now we got rippers in Florida. What we got here is, uh, it looks like we got Newman style hot dogs, from the same you get in New Jersey, and they are deep fried, like so. And you get to see these kind of hot dogs at places like Rut's Hut, and Cat well, it used to be Callahan's, Hiram's, Goffle Grill, all these places in Bergen County and um, Essex County, New Jersey. Um, we're down here in South Florida, which is totally seems out of place, but seems, but to me it seems completely right. Uh, these are deep frying, and I've ordered mine as rippers, which means that they, they sort of semi-explode when you cook them. Uh, bursting them out. Um, these are specially designed hot dogs for the purpose of, uh, of doing this. Um, they have a special filler uh, in order to, to rip that way and they're in a natural case and they're beef and pork uh, mixed dogs. Uh, typically made by the Thumans company in New Jersey. Now what he's doing over here, these are New Jersey style sliders and these have been popularized by White Manna. Now if you remember on the Tony Bourdain episode of White Manna, I was actually on that episode. Uh, so this is kind of coming double, full circle yeah. for me. One double cheese, one fry. Okay. And the orders are coming fast and furious. Ripper flavor. Now of course these burgers are not on a griddle that have been seasoned for since 1939, but they're doing their best here. And I, 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 I'm looking really forward to this because this is, this is probably as close as you're going to come to a white manna or, or white roast system burger in Florida. Um, I didn't know about the existence of this place until last night. So I, you guys have only been in business second a couple, day. the second, second day. day. Now you sir, your, your name is? Rob. Rob. And you've been living in South Florida for a couple years? For about six years. I was a, a registered nurse uh, working with chemotherapy patients in, um, in uh, Sloan Kettering. But cooking was really my passion, as you can imagine. Working with cancer patients, it's, it's pretty difficult. Sure. It's a lot of burnout. So, um, and also, what you learn from patients that are in that uh, in that in that way is that you have to you have to grab life by the by the balls. You know, you got to do what you what you love, what your passion is. And cooking is my passion. So I saved money for three years, and here we have it, Jersey Dog. Wow, that looks like a considerable investment for this type of a mobile vehicle. It, it is. I saved every penny. I didn't do a thing. I didn't go out. Didn't have a beer in three years. Wow. Yep. Well, I tell you, you know, there's plenty of uh, expatriates from the New York, New Jersey area that would completely appreciate this kind of food. Exactly. And uh, I was nostalgic myself. I missed it. I, I, I I've, I've only been I've only been away for a year, and I still miss it. Believe me. Exactly. Being in that bag of American love getting killed.